Hi friends, welcome back to my channel, Kara's Library. In today's video, or shall I say vlog, ooh, see what I did there? I'm going to be participating in Rabbi Zoe's 24-hour readathon. The 24-hour readathon is taking place from midnight Saturday, March 3rd, until 11.59 p.m. March 3rd. Basically, March 4th, the 24-hour readathon. So, it is currently 11.30 p.m. on March 2nd, 2018. I'm being prepared. <laughs> I have five books here that I am ready to just dive into. The books I've chosen for this readathon will be randomly chosen from this hat that if you guys watch my main channel, I recognize as Nancy's. That's fun. So the books I've chosen for this readathon. The Land of 10,000 Madonnas. Witchlanders. Defriended. One of those hideous books where the mother dies. And The Store. Now, as I mentioned before, this that I'm doing this readathon in uh, participation with Rabbi Zoe, who you can find here at her channel and all her social media. I'll link her down below. She's amazing. I love watching all her videos, and um, I'm just really excited. So I'm running on pure adrenaline right now. So I'm going to go ahead and head over to my counter and make some coffee, and we're going to get started and draw a name of a book out of the hat. And I'm so excited. Let's go. All right, friends. I have got my coffee in this cute little... Star Wars mug, and uh, I've never seen Star Wars. But that's none of my business. So if you guys are wondering how I make my coffee, you're probably not, but I tell this to everyone because I think it's the best coffee in the world, is I put like a lot of sugar, way more than I probably should have, and um, sort of vanilla creamer about a quarter of the way, and then the rest is black coffee. So um, dark roast usually. So that is my coffee. It looks caramelly, but it's not caramelly at all. It's French vanilla. On to the books! So, as I mentioned, I have five books here that I'm probably not going to go through all of them, but I'm going to try. So I have my little hat, and inside, if you guys can see, are little papers that I don't know. I wrote them on, but I don't know what's which for books. So I'm just going to dig one out and move my hand around and I sort of like get it shaken up, and I'll just take one. This feels like one. Okay. We have... The Land of 10,000 Madonnas, if you guys can see that. We have The Land of 10,000 Madonnas. I have that one here, and it is by Kate Hadamir, the author of the Vigilante Poets of Sulin Academy. And I actually saw that book at the library today, and I didn't pick it up, but because I was reading a Kate Hadamir this month, so. We're going to go ahead and wait until midnight to dive into this, because it is currently 11.42 p.m., and I want to do this right. I want to do it on midnight, so. Okay, friends, so it just hit midnight on March 3rd, 2018, and I'm going to dive into Kate Hadamary's Land of 10,000 Madonnas. So we're going to see where this goes. Okay, guys, so it is currently 12.51 a.m. on March 3rd. I'm going to keep saying March 3rd, but I don't need to, because this is all taking place on March 3rd. However, I am 50 three pages into the book. Um, not terrible, not great. Um, kind of on the fence right now. I'm on chapter five currently. And I'm in my bathroom reading. I have this little setup down here of like a towel on my bathtub to lean back against it because um, my brother is watching a movie. So, in the uh, living room where I had my card table set up. So, so I'm gonna get back to reading and we're gonna see what happens. Okay, so it is currently 1.48 a.m., and I am that far through The Land of 10,000 Madonnas. Not my favorite book right now. Um, it's about art, and it's very uh, poetic, it's very artsy. Um, so far, I don't see a very driven plot, so we're going to hope it gets better. But I think I see my sister's light on. She may be still, still be awake, so like, let's go see if she's uh, decided to participate. I asked her, and I didn't get a definite answer, so... We'll find out. Y'all, my coffee is done brewing. And unfortunately, I ran out of creamer. <laughs> Didn't think to stock on creamer for the refund. I'm stupid. So I have milk. It's gonna taste a little bit bitter, but that's fine. So let's go ahead and get me some coffee. Oh my gosh, it's gonna taste so bitter because it's milk. I don't have any creamer. I hate everything. Okay, everyone, so it is currently 2.07 a.m. And I stopped for a moment because uh, I was getting like cross-eyed because I was supposed to wear glasses, but I don't. Oh well, like, blind by 30, let's go. So I have my coffee in my BB-8 mug. It has BB-8 on the other side, so whatever. 
My dog is whimpering because she hears me and she's like, come play with me. I can't. So I'm surprised by how good the coffee tastes with just milk and sugar. Not gonna lie. Anyways, since it is a little bit past two, my goal is to finish this book by four. I feel like that's a reasonable goal. I have about 200-ish pages left. Um, again, I'm just going to read and see where it takes me. Hi, everyone. So it is currently 2.40 a.m. And uh, as I mentioned before, I have to wear glasses when I read. But what I failed to mention was that if I read without glasses for a long period of time, I get sick to my stomach. I don't know why. It's just a weird thing. The doctor said it's like my nerves or something, I don't know. Um, but I get sick to my stomach, so um, I have to eat something or I'm going to throw up. Um, and then I'll go back to reading. So I have some boiled eggs in the fridge, so we're gonna get to those. Okay guys, so I have some hard boiled eggs and maybe a shot of Mountain Dew. Like, it's not even a shot. Um, Mountain Dew is like the worst soda for your teeth, and um, I already have bad teeth as it is because of genes. So, like a shot I'm hoping will like shoot some adrenaline into my body. So it is now 3.09 a.m. and I am halfway through Land of 10,000 Madonnas. It's gotten a little better, not terribly better, but it's a little better. I kind of get the plot now, what they're doing. Um, but yeah, uh, not that great. Uh, so I'm actually, I forgot to take notes on this book so far. So if you guys have ever wondered like what my book two books notes look like, um, it's just this little black uh, journal, like a, like a, I don't know, art book or something. Um, but I put duct tape on this as my thoughts, volume one, and, uh, it has my thoughts, volume one, it's fine too. But, I'll put my TBR and then I'll do notes for each book. So not gonna lie, no matter how foolish I looked, the dance party kind of woke me up a little bit. So it is currently 3.47 a.m. and I am probably exactly halfway through the book, maybe a little bit more. Anyways, it's, it's getting better, sort of, I don't know. I have like two hours till my mom wakes up, so like, yo, let's finish this book. Okay, friends, it is currently 5.48 a.m. I have less than 100 pages left in the land of 10,000 Madonnas. I'm not that far. It's so close, I can almost taste it. Because, like, it's not the best book in the world. <laughs> I don't want to DNF anything on the readathon, and that's just stupid of me. So, like, I don't want to do that. But, um, I was getting tired of my headaches and my stomach aches from reading. So I had to dig around the house and uh, found my two-year-old pair of reading glasses. So that happened. And uh, hopefully that'll keep the headaches from coming back. So fingers crossed that. <laughs> so I am basically just running on whatever I can think of right now. I have bought my, my face with cold water. I have been drinking sugary, sugary sweet tea, and so far I'm still kicking. Like, I'm not, so I'm not, like, tired. I feel weak. Like, like, I could lay down and read, but, like, I'm not going to lay down on the couch or anything because I want to sit in a chair with my card table so that I can, you know, not fall asleep. <laughs> All right, it is currently 7 a.m. and I have less than 40 pages left at the land of 10,000 Madonnas. This book is longer than I thought it was, okay? This is way longer than I thought it was. Probably the biggest one in my pile, to be honest. Um, maybe Witchlanders, I don't know. But I'm hoping to finish it 8, 8.30 maybe. We're gonna see what happens and then we're gonna draw another one. Okay, y'all, it is currently 7.51 a.m. I haven't read anything. <laughs> like, 
I wasn't feeling myself. And so like, I was feeling really sick because I get sick really easily when I read a lot. So right now we're having, we're gonna have omelets and what do we got over here? Let's go look. <laughs> I look one of those, what's that show, Bear Grylls, is that his name? Uh, what, which one? It's like, we're going to the wild. Yeah. <laughs> Me though. So we're having omelets and um, toast. That so is. that's my breakfast. That's our breakfast, so I'm like, yeah, so. I'm gonna try to read because my, my sister's so generously cooking for me. And then, um, hopefully, after breakfast, we'll pick out another book. Okay, guys. It's currently 8 36 a.m. This book, I just finished it. And, um, I'm gonna go ahead and give you my thoughts. Um, I have written down artsy, very artsy because of Madonna paintings. Takes a while to find a plot, though. A lot of references to Madonna paintings for some reason. And no focus character. There's a lot of characters, and it all focuses on all the different characters, so it's like no one character kind of derives from the plot. So I give it a three out of five stars. So now it is time to draw from the hat again for the four books Defriend It, One of Those Hideous Books for Another Die, Which Landers, in the store. We're going to see what we get. I'm really hoping for a, like a short one, but I don't know. <gasps> we have Defriend It by Ruth Barron. This book is about a boy who's talking to a girl online. She's actually been dead for a year. Why, why did my cat do that? So I'm probably going to... I don't know, do something to keep myself awake because I'm kind of feeling tired and then I'm going to dive into this. So it is currently 9.12 a.m. and I think this little DIY thing I did is, um, I think hands-on activities really help me keep awake, so I'm going to go ahead and dive right on in to defriend it. All right, so it is currently 11.46 a.m. 14 minutes until noon, which is 14 minutes until lunch, and then I am like in that mood for food. Like, I just want to snack and read. I don't know why. Um, so yeah, that's gonna happen. And I went ahead and changed clothes. I actually did, I cleaned up a little bit, brushed my hair and everything. Um, even though I'm sitting at the house reading all day, like, what do I do with my life? It, so we're gonna go ahead and make lunch. So today's lunch is chicken salad. The celery and miracle whip because it's healthier than mayonnaise. So it is currently 1:12 p.m. and I am uh, a little less than halfway through. Um, do you find it? Um, it's a great novel. <laughs> Don't let my face confuse you. It's a great novel. And uh, okay, so it is currently 3:41 p.m. and I have just finished *Defriend It* by Ruth Barron. Um, notes were like, it was intriguing, and it was giving me kind of vibes of Goosebumps by R.L. Stein, and overall I give it a 3 out of 5 stars. So, yeah, better than the one before. So, it, even though they had the same rating, still had a better driven plot. So, so now we are going to draw out of the hat to see what's the next book. Because I, I, I still have like a little over 8 hours left. Okay, let's see. We have one of those hideous books where the mother dies. This is the title of the book. <laughs> so this book I read in like seventh grade, I think. I read it in one sitting. Um, it's written in poetry style, so it's fairly short. Um, shouldn't take me too long. But before I started, I'm going to go ahead and get me a snack and get some water because I'm feeling a little bit down. Just a tad bit. A tad bit. It is 6.36 p.m. and I... I am almost done with 
um, one of those hideous books of another lies. I have like a hundred pages left or so, and it's like a almost three hundred page novel. But it's told in poetry, so it's really short. Um, but yeah, besides that, yeah, we're gonna have tacos. Like, I'm gonna dance. So, and we have a little over five hours. Let's do this. It is currently 8.07 p.m., less than four hours left in this 24-hour readathon, and I have just finished one of those hideous books with another dies. Um, interesting format, poetry, as I said, and uh, not a very strong ending. So I give it a three out of five stars. That was just my opinion on it. So without further ado, we have two books left, and with only th less than four hours remaining, and we're not going to get both of them. Let's be honest. So... We're gonna dive into the hat and get it. So, I'm, oh god, I don't know. Okay, so we have the store, if you can see that. Handy, okay. So this is a new James Patterson one that just came out. This came out in 2017, it is classified as a haunting novel, so like, horror, scary ghosts, I don't know. Um, different from what I've heard anything else, that I've read anything else about him, like, this sounds a lot different. So I'm going to go ahead and dive in. Alright, yeah. So it is currently 9.16pm, and I am doing something I never thought I would do in a readathon. Right by soap. I am DNFing a book. This is unacceptable. No. I'm taking off my bookmark. And I'm going to return it to the library on Monday. It's not 40 pages in and I can't stand it. Not what it advertised as. So I actually went to my TBR shelf and um, since I only have less than three hours until the readathon ends, I picked up two of the Goosebumps on my shelf that are still TBR, and um, I'm gonna read them. Uh, Goosebumps was actually like got me into scary books and Stephen King and things like that. R.L. Stein was like my childhood reader, so like, let's go. So um, yeah, we're gonna see what goes from there, and probably the next time I see you, it'll be the end of the wrap up. So who knows? Okay, so it is currently 11:48 p.m. There's like a 12-ish minutes left of the 24-hour readathon. So I've read up all to the 24 hours. So, yeah, that was fun. Thank you all participated uh, with Zoe and uh, comment down below what books you guys read. I'd love to know and uh, be sure to stay tuned after the video for a logistics of everything I read. Okay, friends, so it is the next day and it is a little bit past, a little bit. I'm still feeling the effects of yesterday. So it's a little bit past noon, and I am going to be kind of just giving you the logistics for what I read. Um, so I read four books in total. Um, I read *The Land of Ten Thousand Madonnas*, *Defriend It*, one of those hideous books where the mother dies, and *A Small Little Goosebumps: The Scarecrow Walks at Midnight*. So *The Land of Ten Thousand Madonnas* I thought was pretty artsy, and it had a lot of. Um, Madonna references, not the Madonna singer, but like the paintings of Mary. And I thought it was artsy, but it just wasn't giving it for me. It took a lot to get to a plot, and, but the ending was pretty strong, so I gave it a 3 out of 5 stars. So Do You Friend It was pretty intriguing to me. Um, the ending was a little bit twisted, I didn't really expect that, so it was very intriguing. And um, I really did enjoy that it was scary, because I was looking forward to a scary book finally. It gave me this kind of goosebumps vibe that I was really feeling, and it was just because it's a middle school grade novel, so I really enjoyed it. I gave it a three out of five stars. This hideous books with Mother Dies uh, is a poetry book, so it was very short. It took me no longer than an hour and a half maybe to read it. Um, it was very interesting format, so like it was poetry, and uh, but it did have a weak ending. But considering that uh, I've read it before and I kind of knew what I was expecting, but I didn't realize how weak the ending was before, so I gave it a three out of five stars. So now the Goosebumps little novel, The Scarecrow Walks at Midnight, I did have two, I had Piano, I think I believe I had The Phantom of the Auditorium, but I never picked that one up. I got this one first because I really love this episode, I never read the book, surprisingly. 
I really love that it has cliffhangers on every chapter. Like, every chapter is a cliffhanger. And he does that to keep your attention as a middle schooler or even an elementary kid. I think he did a really good job about that. And there was a lot of diversity in this book. Uh, there was a character on the farm you learn from the first chapter who's described as not having all the watts in a light bulb. And um, so it was very diverse. He didn't do anything to make it stereotypical. And I really enjoyed how he was able to put that diversity with middle school and elementary kid readings. So overall, I give this a four out of five stars, which is kind of funny. Like, this is the one that gets a four out of five stars. <laughs> what? So overall, I read 980 pages. That boils down to about 16 pages per minute or 40 pages per hour. So I'm not a very fast reader. Of, my goal was 1,000 pages. Almost there, 20 pages off. It was fine. It was fine. And according to my Goodreads, I now have three books to go until I meet my yearly goal. However, I'm probably going to change that considering I read a lot more now than I used to because I have more time. But yeah, that is it for my 24-hour readathon hosted by Read by Zoe over here on YouTube. And I'm so happy that I got to participate in this. And it was just so fun. I can't wait to the next one. So remember, you're beautiful, you're wonderful, and you are loved. And until next time, bye.